Hi guys, welcome. We're just trying to get uh, Jo Beth to join in uh, on video and I'm just having a little trouble getting her connected. So if you give me a moment, we'll try and connect her. Okay, so uh, I've got me up here in the corner. <laughs> But um, I can't get you up there. <laughs> uh, we can hear you, I'm pretty sure, if you want to say hello. Hello. Yep, we can definitely Hi, everyone. Hear you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me just see if I can uh, try to add it again. Wait, something's happening, but it's just a Skype thing. <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> uh oh, um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, let me try again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. It usually just connects, but for some reason. It keeps bringing up this weird, uh... Which window is that? It's that showing little... me a Skype, uh, thing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not sure what we're going to do. That's really weird. Uh, perhaps I'll just, uh, end the call here and, uh, just redo and we'll see if we can do it again. So I'm just trying to reconnect. That was different. Oh, good. Okay. Well, let's see if that works. <laughs> I just closed something. Oh, we found you. We no, can we see you and closed. we can hear you. Oh, can you see me or can you see can my see you. desktop? Well, I can see your, your desk no, no, no. You're working. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Okay. So everyone else can okay. see that now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <gasps> Hello. Well, um, what ha something really strange happened and uh, we accidentally got um, rusted on together and uh, we decided instead of us uh, missing out on one uh, or the other, we decided we'd just join in. <laughs> do it together. Yeah, there you oh, are. There Can I you am. see it now? <laughs> yeah. I, you got me. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Joe Beth, uh, how about you tell us a little bit about yourself? I haven't actually um, met you before, so hello, welcome. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Um, well, um, I'm pretty new to the whole live stream thing. I've, I've only done a handful of them so far, but um, I have an extensive background in art. I taught art at a two-year college for several semesters, and I've been involved in art and anything to do with art since I was like three years old. So, um, and I'm I've been selling my artwork for years, not to any really big name people, but uh, fairly consistently. And um, I have a few people that every time I paint something or draw something, they're like, "Oh, how much do you want for that?" And I'm just like, <laughs> "Stop." <laughs> hold on so um but there's there's that um let's see i did go my first major in college was psychology it was nutrition and then it was psychology and then it was art and um i'm happy i i i don't i'm not i'm a professional artist but i work out of my home i don't have you know a nine to five job or anything and, and mostly i work out of my home because i can't really go anywhere right now for health reasons so the whole coloring community and uh, YouTube and color tube community is like, it's a lifesaver for me. And I have found the, the most wonderful people here and been made to feel very, very welcome. So um, to the whole community out there, <laughs> thank you. Um, 
<laughs> but um, so right now um, I art, I make jewelry, I have an online store, I um, basically just do creative stuff every day. So that's a little awesome. bit about me. Well, I didn't get time to do an avatar for you. So uh, Jo Beth is in the bottom left corner oh. and I'm up in the top right corner there. Um, but yeah, today we decided we'd color something. We were going to do different things when we were scheduled to stream, um, but because we sort of joined in together, we decided to pick the same image to do. So this image is by Tiana. Uh, her her <laughs> Etsy store, I just had it up here a second ago. Give me two secs. Great. Okay, so uh, her Etsy store is Lace of Fancy Dreams, and this is a Victorian woman colouring page, and I've just popped a link to her Etsy store in the um, chat, which is actually on top chat, so I better change that too while I'm at it. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We're, we're going to colour together for this Victorian colour of fun. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everybody. <laughs> um, there's so many people in chat. Um uh, okay, Pat, Joey, Mia, Charlotte, Kimmy, Kenny, Abby, Laura, hello, Lulu, Emily, uh, Cece, I'm just flicking down, Pat again, Br Brittany, <laughs> Meredith, uh, who else have we got, Diane, Kelly, Starbuck, and hello, Shannon, Leslie. I think I may have missed a few because I'm just uh, flicking down the chat, but welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> so what are you gonna color with today? Me? Oh, I was gonna use Prismacolor. Ooh, pretty. Well, of course, you know what I'm gonna use. Yes. Yes, and, and I would use markers too, <laughs> I but very welcome. I don't have any. <laughs> You don't have markers. That's all right. Uh, well, I printed this no. one. I was going to do this one on Monday for Monday's uh, stream, but uh, I'm going to be coloring the one that I was going to be coloring today uh, by Eva Nakunin on Monday now. So we'll do that one then. But um, okay. yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to use some markers. Let me find some good ones. So what? Um, uh, you uh, what? <laughs> Sorry just having a moment so let's get started absolutely but I think my picture's frozen oh is it it is frozen I can't see anything I think it's so just it's just paused yeah. you're not moving right again and that's okay because people are in your chat to see you <laughs> you but why isn't it showing you that's weird I don't know. We just had it working too. <sighs> oh my goodness. Maybe leave Skype open, she's saying, uh, so it's not minimized and maybe that will work. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think everything's open. I still don't see any movement. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we can definitely see a picture now, but just uh, not you moving on the picture. Yeah. Hmm. Minimize. Mine are both open as well. It's it should still be working. So the image that we're colouring is by Tiana of um, 
Lace of Fancy Dreams. I've just popped the Etsy link up there and it's also in the description as well. Yeah, I'm not sure, Emily. It just doesn't seem to want to work. It's weird. We can only see your board with your picture sitting there. Have you got, like, are you moving? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was uh, putting my hands down and, you know, because I wanted to see if it was frozen or not. Right, and, we'll have and that there's nothing going on. again and we'll see. <laughs> so don't touch anything, I'll just okay. re reconnect and we'll see if it just comes back. Okay. It's ringing. Dong, ding, dong. <laughs> Hi, I can see a hand. Oh, good. <laughs> I can't. I don't. I see the same picture on mine. Oh, now I see. Oh, yeah, there we Hello. go. Hello. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we go. Now, hey. you're not moving still. It's still telling me you're frozen. Oh. <laughs> I didn't move for a second. It, I, it, we saw it move, didn't we, everybody? You, we saw you actually move, and then it just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so weird. It's weird. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. You go ahead. Do you think there? Do you want me to just try again? I can just keep trying until it works. <laughs> no, it seems no, to work no, no. when it. Oh, actually, that's actually a glove. I just realized I was coloring in her hand, and it's not her hand. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, she was moving. See. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me just check my settings here as well. Mia saw me moving. I did too. <laughs> I saw it too. Alright, try again this eh? thing. Alright. <laughs> Let's give it another go. <laughs> no. Uh, um... No, oh, I could see something moving now. <laughs> what is that moving? Are you moving? I'm sitting pretty still. Okay. I could see your camera moving then for a second. Oh, that's okay. really strange. I'm really disappointed. How frustrating. Yeah, I was so okay. looking forward to this. <laughs> I know, I know. It would have been super fun, but... There's know? something wrong with, like, every time it connects to... It just stops, like... Um, right. When I had it... Alright, let, huh. um, let me try one more thing, and then uh, we'll give it another go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's normal. Everything I've done is exactly the same, so it's really weird. I'll just make sure that uh, I can see you moving before I connect it. Okay, it seems like you're lagging. Yeah. It looks like the video call is actually lagging. So, um, I think that might be why it's not connecting properly. 
because I just saw you move again for a couple of seconds there and then uh, it disappeared again. Dang it. <laughs> um, I might be able to... Oh, now I can't see you at all. Oh, no! <gasps> you know, Belinda, it's it's really okay. I'm not I'm not going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. I, I, have, I have a stream time tomorrow, and that's okay. And I can just come in and be in chat and just color along on this picture. You know, I'm not going to mind that at all. Okay. Is everyone else happy with that? We'll do that. And, I'll um, just join in, yeah, I'll just join in chat and... and I'll be a lurker. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> okay. See ya. Okay. Okay. Now I've lost everything. <laughs> Hello. Joe Beth, thank you so much for giving it a go. And um, yeah, I'm just, I've got a cup of tea coming in here now. Um, I'm so annoyed that didn't work. I'm very upset. It was nice to hear from you anyway and uh, to get to know you. Ooh, cup of tea. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So hubby just brought me this beautiful, uh, big, huge cup of tea. So that will keep me warm. It's uh, raining today. Yeah, I was thinking it could be a connection issue thing. Um, my Wi-Fi is the like really pretty good. And um, usually it works quite well. So I'm not sure what was happening. It could be um, yeah, a connection issue there. So yeah, I will do a chart. May as well for patrons. So um, patrons have a color chart uh this one is um it's just called victorian woman on her uh, etsy shop so this is uh, her name's the artist is actually her name is tiana and her etsy shop is lacy of fan lace of fancy dreams um so uh, it's a beautiful image and i wanted to do something different i was thinking about doing some alina lazareva or some hannah lynn but i've decided i wanted to do something different because everybody seen those so I wanted to do something that not everybody has seen so today we'll do this one and on Monday I'm doing one more for the stream which is my normal time slot and I'm going to color in this beauty from Eva Nakunin so um, we'll do both so yeah we're not sure what happened with that uh, stream it got mixed up and um, yeah we'll put on the same time very strange very strange. Very strange. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. No problems at all. Um, speaking of having a guest, um, we are actually going to have another guest spot on Tuesday. So this will be an evening stream for me, which is uh, usually early morning for those in the, uh, in the US. And um, I have two special guests coming uh, to the channel. We have the lovely Laura Rafferty. And we also have May. The lovely May Brox is coming. And um, we're going to colour up a storm with a bit of a challenge. Won't that be fun? <laughs> we're going to colour some Kirby Rosane. And, um, and uh, we're going to colour with a colour palette challenge and we have another little special little funny um twist for you as well so that's going to be awesome fun and i really really look forward to it so um yeah exciting so another like four days five days in a row streaming it's crazy although i'm not streaming tomorrow i'm using some e04 my husband uh, brought me donuts for lunch. I had hot jam donuts and uh, this hot cup of tea. And 
And uh, tonight we have some stuff going on for the lovely Alicia, who is here, by the way, and thank you. Um, she's got calisthenics competitions going on, state state um, competitions, and um, it's a busy weekend, that's for sure. giving you some shadows so Tiana has a Facebook group as well uh, which I can get you the link for later on too so you can go and check out her group and um, Tiana works uh, full-time as well as doing art so uh, her pages don't come out as regular as some coloring book artists but um, as you can tell they're absolutely beautiful I have done another one of hers as well so I've done a couple of them I did one of the girls with the she, I gave her black hair and a golden top she was beautiful she was she was oh yes my lights sorry doll um, <laughs> I have two exactly I have two mine aren't LED though are they LED yes they are but they're globes no, they're globes. I don't know. Are they LED globes? I don't know. Um, two studio lights and also I have a couple of fluoro lights that my husband made up for me um, as a bit of a... Um, it was my very first lights actually when I was using my mobile phone to record. So I've come a long way since then. I was just going to see if I can find a photo of my desk. So you could see it. Right, here we go. So this is my desk, what I'm looking at. <laughs> you guys are looking down here at the, at the bottom. There's two studio lights and this here is two fluoro lights which my husband has set up and uh, my camera is actually attached to that on a, a bendy wire thing. And um, also included is a really large microphone now. That's only a baby sized one. I have a really big microphone now. So, but that's my desk. Isn't it pretty? And then my Copic markers there, uh, refills, and then my Copic markers, and there's a few other things on there. But that's it. Pretty cool. <laughs> he is. We call him uh, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> He's awesome with things like that. We tell him what we want and he'll come in and he'll make something for us. Oh, very hot, very hot, very hot. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm actually, uh, next weekend I'm actually going to be changing, uh, I'm using a desk at the moment and I don't quite have enough room for everything that I need I ca like when I'm actually live I can't have my keyboard down on my desk it sort of sits up and that's a bit of a pain um, so we're actually going to replace my desk with a longer desk uh, so that I have a little bit more room uh, up here on the desk with me and uh, yeah But obviously I have to unplug all my computer stuff and move everything out of the way just to move the desk out of the way. So that's a little bit of a pain, I guess. But it will give me more room. Uh, I only recently moved out to this end of the house and um, I have already got a little bit more room, but... Um, <laughs> I don't think we can ever have enough room for art, do we? Uh, moved on, that was E11 I was using. I've moved on to E21 now. Um, I think the more room that we make, the more stuff that we get. So the saying, uh, if you get rid of things that you don't use, you'll make room for new in your life is so true. <laughs> Because that's what happens. Uh, we have room, we fill it, we create more space, and uh, we fill it. 
<laughs> we do, we do. Yes, I use a webcam. Um, it's a 1080 uh, sp uh, speed and it's like a 60 frame per second camera. And it's got some sort of crazy amount of zoom on it. So, um, yeah, I had a cheaper version of the Logitech camera and uh, the zoom was only by two. You could basically do two levels. This goes all the way in to there. So crazy amount of zoom. <laughs> I love it. It's an awesome camera. Moving on to some E double zero. I think I forgot E11 uh, and a little bit of E21. Uh, it's a Logitech C90 something. I don't remember. Everybody asked me that. And I don't remember. I'm just going down on her neck there. It's not much area left, but I just missed it there a second ago. It is pretty, isn't it? Thanks, Elf, and hello. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can grab my camera details for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've put it in my kit. So just below the video uh, in the description, I think it's at the very top of the description because uh, once I post it, it automatically gets added. Um, a lot of my stuff that I use is actually in the kit. It's like a little... Uh, it's a web page where you can put a collection of stuff that you use uh, for whatever you create with and um, and uh, it's easy to find for everybody so I'm pretty sure the camera I'm using is in there uh, but I will have a quick look and see if I can remember which camera it is I think it's a E9 something. Who knows? E920? Does that sound familiar? Possibly? C920? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it looks similar. It's actually not written on it. It's really hard. Um, where else can I find camera properties? Anyone? <laughs> Hi Maria. Yeah, that's it. 930E. Thank you. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Thanks Karen. Yeah, um it's a great camera. I love it. And um I use OBS, uh, which is a free program. Um to stream with and in OBS I can actually share Skype calls uh, which is kind of cool um, so yeah uh, lovely thank you Karen for that Hey, how's this for my... I've got a WIP here. Let's have a look. It's a work in progress. What do you think so far? She's looking pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway, I'm just moving them out of the way is why I had it there. I'm going to use a, some Stabilo Carbothello pencils and I'm just going to put a couple of little... Spots here where I want it to be nice and smooth and it's not because I don't know I think I need to replace the nibs on all of my skin colored markers um, 
they're getting kind of tacky and uh, a little bit rough looking and it's probably about due time for a change because I find that uh, things don't seem to blend as well when they're not quite right so something to keep in mind with the markers but I use them almost every day so you know <laughs> I think they have a right to be tired what do you guys think I think they do uh, I've got a bit of white and uh, we're just going to do some highlights thank you thank you very much yeah start they I, I it's been a while since I've done them I had some sitting there for like spares and I've I've kind of used those up already and I think it's just about time to just redo them all give them a bit of a going over I gave them a really good clean uh, just recently but I don't think it was quite enough I think they're still a bit sad just a bit sad <laughs> It's sad and sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a little bit of pink. So I love these Carbothello chalk pastels. Have you guys seen these before? I actually purchased them on Amazon about three years ago. And um, they were actually really cheap. Uh, it was before Amazon changed their rules for us to buy in Australia. Um, but now they're actually quite expensive. So hi, Rochelle. Welcome. This is Nina Classic Crest, you are correct. And uh, the one that I'm doing on Monday, I've printed it on Express at Blending Card, so slightly different. Um, but today, I am using Nina. Nina's awesome. I like Nina paper. It's a bit of an all-rounder. Um, it... Um, it does a bit of everything you have to be real careful with water based uh, products so you can't put a lot of water on it it doesn't like a lot of water but um, if I was going to be using a water base usually I would use different paper just putting a bit of pink around her eyes there oh she's darling <laughs> hi Catherine welcome they are really nice pencils. They're pastel pencils, so they're not um, just a normal coloured pencil. They are dry pastel, so um, they smudge and uh, you can use them, you know, with other pastel things as well. I love them for touching up skin um, and just smoothing everything off to a little bit of white there I think her, her the side of her face here I can't go back over this with markers either because it will just clog up my marker so now that I've already started playing with this uh, if I want to add any color it has to be with these now or pencil so I don't clog up my little markers and make those nibs even more <laughs> out of uh, sorts These don't have number uh, colors on them either. They've only got numbers. Um, so yeah, I can't even tell you what numbers I'm using. <laughs> Let's just uh, erase, oh, just around the outside, just to make sure when we do come in in those areas that there's no pastel on there. Just over the lips and the eyes. Alright, now I've got R59. Okay, so now if I say that next month we have the Halloween colorathon, that's right, yeah? I'm telling the truth this time because, you know, I got them mixed up last time. I've got a couple of things that I want to do for that and, um, it's so hard deciding. Deciding.
I can't use water base on them. I can show you what happens when you use water on Nina. I'm just having a play with some pictures. Uh, and I, I just did this with uh, Neo Color. See how it kind of goes all bitty and strange? It doesn't sit very well. Water base is really horrible on it. So just be careful. This image is by Jenny Lewin. Isn't she cute? Um, excuse the outside. Obviously, once I crop it and scan it up, it's going to look uh, pretty cute. I think she's cute. <laughs> Jenny Lewin, um, I'm doing... I've got a couple of images sitting here, actually, ready to get recorded. Um, I'm going to go over the top of the R59 with some R35. Nice red lips. And um, I think she should have, um, hmm. um, I think I might give her brown eyes, something different. Why not? Let's just zoom in a little bit here. Just not quite happy with this bit here. Didn't blend off very well. Just going to neaten that up a little bit. A bit better. Not a lot better, but a bit better. Um, okay, what did I say? Brown eyes. <clears throat> Let's do them like um, an orangey brown. This is E99. It's a really tiny area, so we're not going to have a lot of room for details with markers. So I'm just going to be really careful. And then I need something like orange. Uh, let's <laughs> uh, why mm, I don't want to use that I'm, I'm just going to go down to the next next colour so E79 it's just a little bit lighter that's it nice kind of orangey brown It's hard to see there, but it looks pretty. Uh-oh, Mia. None of that. None of that. We don't need that tonight. Come on. <laughs> I'm using a number five jelly roll pen to do those little highlights. I'm just going to add a little spot on the edge. Oh, and uh, I like details, so... Let's grab a tiny little bit of C1. Cool grey one. Uh, if you're a patron, I'll pop the colour list up uh, for patrons if you want to do your own version using pencils. Not that I'm saying this will turn out absolutely amazing and, and, and I'll love it. We'll see. Sometimes they don't. That was colourless blender, just blending out around the eyes there and uh, creating a nice bit of shadow and some R20 just under the eye on the waterline. And um, I want to draw in some eyelashes there a bit more. So I'm going to use a Copic Multiliner. This is a 0 0.03. I actually want to get one. I've got a point five and a point zero three really bad i want to get one that's kind of in between and not quite so tiny this is tiny that point 
It's not even visible on camera. Look at that. Night, Cheryl. Oh, that's late. <laughs> or early. 5 a.m. It's uh, 1.46 p.m. here, just after lunch. Just drawing in her eyelashes. I'm kind of curling them a little bit. So Pat, you still got to colour this one. I'd like to see how it looks when you're done. I mean, Joe, my bad, Joe Beth. Gosh, I think I was talking to you, Pat. <laughs> it's all right. I'm losing my mind and my memory at the same time. Okay, I think she's pretty now. A couple of little spots, sparkles in the waterline, the corner of her eye. Okay, and uh, let's give her some black. Eyebrows. We'll give her some dark brown here, I think. I've done so many different coloured hairs, it's... Um, pick sometimes. I'll also go and grab uh, Tiana's Facebook group as well so everyone can pop in. Hey, that's actually some news. Um, I took over the uh, admin for Linda Ravenscroft's group as well because they were going to close it down. I went, no, 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 can't do that. <laughs> so, taking over that. Yeah, I've left the, the eyeshadow off. Yeah, see, uh, Emily, I think the point 0.3 would be a good size because point 0.5 is just that little bit too big. But yeah, point 0.3 would be a good size. I put a little bit of pink um, Valor, Valor, is it? Valor, Valor. Um, yeah, I put a little bit of pink just for, uh, um, like, just on the top of our eye there. But I have left it mainly lighter. <laughs> um. mm. anyway let's do a hair <laughs> I'm just drifting off into no man's land E59, E57. What else have I got? <laughs> Depends on how dark I want this hair. Hmm. Just working out colours here, trying to decide. Oh, that was just uh, a little bit of the pencil uh, on there. I'm going to use uh, E59. I haven't used this colour very much because I don't have a refill. So I'm hoping it lasts for this picture. You know how it is? People who have markers. <laughs> I have a lot of refills, um, but not all of them 
still. So at $10 a pop here in Australia for a refill, it's taken me a very long time to collect what I have now. And, uh, usually when I go and get refills, I'll get up to 10 at a time. So it can take me a little while to have enough money to do that. So yeah. This is quite an elaborate um, hairstyle with the little braids. Just going to try to put a little bit of detail in there. It's not easy though. Put a little bit around these little. I love my markers though, I would not trade them for anything. They're quick and easy to use and um, very effective. Like pastels, do you? I've done a lot of, I went to do a pastel image on some crappy paper, did not work. But um, I thought I might try it on some Strathmore Tantone paper, give something a go on that. Yes, I had true failure with the black paper, I did not want to go on it. Very frustrating. can only just see her hair behind her veil here. Uh, so that was one of the questions I was going to ask guys. So what, um, I know that they had little, you know what, I can look it up. <laughs> I think these are actually coloured, I don't think they're white, is what I was trying to get at just then. I just didn't fully vocalise it. <laughs> I just did a bit of art uh, eating. <laughs> it is, I like markers. They can be a little bit bulky with some finer detail things. Um, like this hair, it's majorly fine detail. That's okay, we'll cover most of it up. How do you sharpen Prismacolor? Any tips? Buy a good sharpener. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of sharpeners that are really good with the Prismacolors. I use my just my cheap froggy one and it's fine. Uh, it's a, a Deli brand and um, the Tagol sharpener is really good too, this one. And I usually put this one on a number one uh, when I'm doing Prismacolors. But my froggy one uh, is also awesome. I love this one. Oh, 
spilt my cup of tea. When I get to 5,000 subscribers, I have a free one sitting there as a giveaway. So, um, it's close, but it's not quite there. Okay, back to it. So very close to 5,000. Goes in stages, subscribers does. Depends on what people are looking for. And uh, I think a lot of the exposure thing with Facebook, uh, YouTube, sorry, is uh, the names of your videos is very important. Also, how many likes you get, how many comments you get, all of those things make a big difference. But I'm very, very close. It's like 4.8k or something. put there. Oh, hi Shelly. Welcome. Oh, very much welcome. We're just doing the dark areas of hair first. And uh, then it's so, so detailed. Um, lots of little scratching marks here. It's because of all these little curls in the hair. We just visited curls on our Dawn Davidson image too. That was fun. I'm sick of this colour. Can I, I'm, I might just, you know, end this and move to the next colour and finish this off later. <laughs> Do you guys get like that? I get sick of colour and I have to move on. Okay, no, I don't like that colour anymore. Let's just move on. Come back to it later. <laughs> it's very much a mood thing. Okay, um, I'm going to look up veils in this because I want to see if there's a colour. <laughs> oh, Pat. <laughs> oh, dear. It's so much like that, though. I Laura's um, channel is the worst. I don't get anything. And then this morning I woke up at five o'clock. I got a notification saying Laura was live. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you decided to work when I was asleep. But okay. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a look at these. Okay, I just searched Victorian riding hats. 
and um, the veils were generally black. How strange is that? Um, there you go. A black hat or the color of the outfit maybe maroon or something like that so I'm just sort of looking through now having a look at browns maroons uh, but a lot of them had just they were black with black veils you can see them there there's one that's kind of uh, what I imagine her wearing but with a veil on the back Hmm. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Laura. You're right. It would have been uh, a darker color, so either navy, maroon, or black, brown. So, uh, yeah, um, I've got E57. Uh, so what I might do is um, I want to put some of the brown behind there. So I'm going to use something really light just to mark it out to start with. Maybe some E33. Uh, you can barely see it through here, but I just want to continue with some of those curls if I can. It's like so pale under here, it's not funny. You can only just see it. Just following along with some of those there and then in those thicker areas it's going to be quite dark anyway so I'm going to go in with a little bit of black I'm just going to come down these thicker lines to start with I like the red veil too, but I've decided just to use black. Just doing it kind of sketchy like. I'm thinking of doing brown leather gloves, so maybe we'll do a brown hat, and I'm thinking maybe navy blue clothes. I think that would look good. Okay, quite happy with that. As I said, I need to put something in there to make it look like you can see that hair behind the veil. Excuse me for being quiet then. Just concentrating. Just going to do a little bit around here. Oh dear, look at her.
So I'm debating uh, whether to do the next sort of puppy training or not. Still not sure. Big decision. Alright, now. Now that I've got that, um, I'm going to finish off a lot of the veil first over the hair area because then we can continue on with the rest of the hair. Ow! <laughs> oh, what did you do, Laura? I missed it. <laughs> Carnival Row. What was the picture? Oh, I have to have a look now. I'm sure it is beautiful. Um, E33 again, and I can just see a couple of little, you know areas of hair through here just continuing on with some of these curls and waves and a lot of this is going to be covered over anyway but just to do that so some of it joins and waves and weaves <laughs> Few more scribbles. Let's go with a little bit of C7. Just on the very edges. What was that? I do not know. Just leave the edges of the veil uh, black because that would be say where the netting's been sewn turning my picture put a shadow there Okay, C5. I remember when I first got my markers, my first set of markers, and I thought to myself, why do they put so many greys in the pack? And uh, after using them for such a long time, I now realise why they have so many greys in the pack because the greys can be mixed with colours as well um, to create darker or different shades of the same colour which is kind of cool and obviously you can use it for things like this too let's go down to a 3 C3 See one. Okay. 
Yeah, I believe that under here is looking a little bit too light now. So let's try a little bit more of a darker brown in there. Make it up a bit as we go, I think. That was uh, E23. Let's do a little bit of E18. And then using the E59 that we've already used in the hair going to add a little bit of that too. Just sort of doing some curly patterns under there. Coming over those areas with some C3 just to darken them slightly, make them look kind of blurred out. Okay, now I've got some pastel white, the Carbothello again, the white. I'm just going to go and put in a few. Being multi liner. I've got a, the 0.5 now. It's a little bit thicker. Just want to go and uh, redefine those darkest spots. Now that we've covered some pastel over the top, they've faded off a lot. So these are our crease marks, I guess, in the veil. Doesn't matter if they're a little bit off. The material folds in weird and awkward ways anyway. If you want to learn how to do sheer fabric, uh, there's a guy uh, who does a really awesome class, pin-up class, a pin-up girl, she's stunning. Um, and uh, just does an amazing job with Copics. Christopher Carey is his name. Just does fabulous material. Okay, I think I need a little bit of white gel pen on here as well. A couple of highlight spots. It might not be thick enough that one. Let me try the normal uni ball pen. Just 
adding a few spots of highlight. Just want to cover over some of that hair a little bit more too. And there. I'm actually quite happy with that. I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Hi, Catherine. Welcome. Hi, Heather. Welcome. Great to see you. All right. So that's just the veil part done. Now I'm going to move on and finish more of her hair using some E57 uh, over the top of the E59. Just, oh dear. Could have a problem. I have picked one that doesn't have a refill and it's already dead. That is a pain in my butt. Okay, let's scratch E57 off the list. <laughs> uh, what have I got that's fairly close to E57? Probably E25 is going to be our next closest. If I can find it. I think I just had it out a second ago. Or not. There it is. Okay, be right back. I need to run to the loo. I'm back. I'm back. So we're going to decide E25 is close enough. Yep. And I got a refill for this one. So all of my markers that I've marked with a little uh, tape ring have got refills. So if you're ever wondering why they have that, that's what it is. That's what it is. How's this crazy weather, Australians, that we're having? We have stinking hot day yesterday and it's pouring with rain and cold today. This is not what I remember spring being like. Spring was just always nice, temperatured, sunny days. You know, time to go out and explore the world. Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. I'm just extending these areas out into the veil as well. <clears throat> I think um, it's a little bit too light under there, isn't it? It could have had a little bit of the, the hair could have been slightly darker underneath there, I think. It's okay.
I'm just adding a little bit more into the veil. Just really trying to fill in. I probably shouldn't be though because I've already put a little bit of pastel in here but uh, I'll clean off my marker I promise. <laughs> okay I think that's good now I think we've done a pretty good job of getting uh, that filled in with color Looks fab. Looks fab. You this. Absolutely. Oh, dear me. Oh, it's, oh, yes, because it's Halloween, which is uh, fall, isn't it? Or autumn. It's, uh, It's a crazy time in the world with weather. So much stuff going on, natural disasters and floods and all sorts of things. Revelationists out there thinking it's the end of days. <laughs> Trying to keep a couple of little spots open down here for highlights, but uh, it's quite detailed in there. And with markers and uh, tiny little details like this, it's too hard to try and get it all in there. Um, so I'm just kind of roughing some of it there. And um, it doesn't really matter because we've got so much detail in there and you'll still be able to see that detail underneath the marker. And we know that this is hair because it's fabulous hair. It's so wavy and who would die to have hair like this? I would. Actually, my hair is kind of curly like this anyway now. Maybe not so ringlety, but... <laughs> More wavy. Okay, now let's do something with a little bit of orange, which was the E15. It's got a slight orange tinge to it, so. And we did the E15 underneath here as well, so. I'm just going to add to that. And keep it in the same direction that the hair is going as well and uh, just coming over the edges of this hair as well into the veil a little bit just making sure we've got a bit of everything under there and I'm literally being really rough now and just making sure I cover over most of the paper You're witnessing Belinda's really quick live <laughs> technique here. <yeah? laughs> 
just go for it. I'm not even going to put any other highlights or anything through there. I'm quite happy with her hair. Just missing a couple of white areas there. Covering up the rest of the braids. And the hair's done. Yay! Let's put a tiny little bit of this in her eyebrows. Eyebrows. Doesn't look quite so out of place there. A little bit of colour in there. Oh, I thought that was a spot that I'd miss. I was going to have to make a beauty mark then. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Rochelle. Thank you so much for coming. And Kenny, I just saw you there as well. You snuck in at some stage. Where did you come from? <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm thinking blue. What do you guys think? Because her thing here is kind of blacky black with a bit of blue I think we'll do blue um, now this could be a problem because <laughs> hey I got this yesterday too have you guys seen this yet have you seen the the new coloring heaven calendar if if anyone wants me to flick through it I can do it today because I haven't looked at it yet either if not that's fine Okay. I'll throw it later. Now, rats. Okay, B97. Sorry, guys, I just bumped the camera, uh, the mic. Where's all my Bs? B95, B93. Where are you, 93? There he is. Maybe that one. And B39. Oh, you have. <laughs> do a flip through? Okay. I got one here. Cool. I'll do a flip through. Um, so for the outfit, I'll do B39. B90, I would have done B99, but I've got none left. It's completely dead. Um, and I don't have a refill yet. That's on my list. So I'm doing B39, B97, B95, and B93. And I might use B91. Depends. Jeff Haney's new book today by the PDF. No, I didn't. Somebody sent me a link to the website, to um, the group yesterday actually I actually just did a whole big clean out of groups and I'm going I'm mainly I'm in a few mixed coloring groups but mainly in artist coloring groups now I just got so many notifications all the time so this was a coloring heaven calendar 2020 and uh, it's got September October November and December at the front uh, of 2019 so before you actually go into the actual calendar gosh this is going to be awkward just move some stuff get out my way and each month there is a new artist and a new image so this one's by Nelek how do you say it? Nelek Nelek Shoemaker A few of my very favouritest artists are in this one, which is why I ended up getting it. Of course, the lovely Christine Karen. Isn't that a gorgeous picture? Just beautiful. And this one is Kelly O'Gorman. I really like this. 
And then, why does the Easter one have to be rabbits? Come on. Anyway, I'm April. I don't know how to say this one. Kanoko Igusa? I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, I know this one. Micah Jelena. That's a cute one. Yeah, you'd get the marker would come through, unfortunately. Of course, we've got Selena Fennick. Another lovely Australian artist. Anne Stokes, which has Anne Stokes actually got coloring books? Because I've actually never seen any. I've seen like a whole heap of Anne Stokes art stuff, but I've never actually seen a coloring book. So there you go. Zan Von Van, Zan Von Z. <laughs> that was a mouthful. This one is white stag. There was a bit of cardboard in the middle of it. I've just taken that out. There you go. That's something I can stick a watercolor on. It's a nice thick piece of cardboard. Oh, and it's Guerrero. That is a beautiful picture. Oh, I might have to do this one for Halloween. I can't. It's for next year's Halloween. Oh. <laughs> Hannah Lynn Adele Loreen I did that beautiful red dress picture at Christmas last year and that's it it's really quite thick but, um, It's nice. It's a nice calendar. <laughs> I like it. Do it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. So for the hat, I'm going to use some bees. So let's put in some B97 under this hat. Here. Where we can see our veil, and uh, we're going to come in and do the same colors we did in the veil in this veil here. So, we've already done the black, so I'm going to move to C9. I keep misplacing everything. Did I use C9? Maybe I just used C7. <laughs> I can't find C9, so it must be C7. C3. Oh, don't let us keep you awake. Go to bed. We must sleep, peoples. Now, uh, I want to do, let's do the black uh, outliner first. So this is the size 0.5 multi-liner. Get that in there nice and dark. And let's just at the front here use that white pastel just on that front section where the light is supposed to be sitting on that hat I'm 
gonna need to go back in with that black multi liner because I've gone over it. Oh, actually, we should be able to rub it out. Oh, look at that! That was handy. Should have thought of that before, Belinda. Durr. <laughs> let's use that. Actually, let let's use a this one this time. I've just got a paint pen. This is a Pintor one. I don't know what that is on there. Um, or you could use the um, Posca paint pen. I've actually gotten quite liking this one. It's a good one. Okay, now we can do the rest of the hat. So starting with B39. Let's follow the artist drawn shadows. Just going under the hat a little bit there. Under the veil a little bit on the back here. A little bit on this side of the hat. Then we'll go down to B97. <laughs> no, I actually have to go out. Uh, Alicia's got a calisthenics competition uh, tomorrow, so I have to drive her to where she's staying. And um, yeah, I don't have time really. I could probably do a little bit over, but I don't have time to hang too long. B95 Just blending out to the middle Just kind of gone under the veil a little bit, but I've made it kind of, um, I don't know what you would call it, struggled kind of looking there in the background uh, under the veil a little bit there. I didn't want it to look too, I guess, um, I wanted it to look a little bit blurry or fuzzy. So it's kind of sitting under the hat, but you can't see any detail. I really wanted to finish this one today, actually. Um, I didn't want to have to finish it later on for you, but ah, well, that's what happens when we when we do things like this, though. Hey, just as long as we've all had a bit of fun, a bit of a laugh, maybe. I've probably said something stupid. <laughs> and uh, B ninety three, that happens at least once every stream. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. It's all good. This is B93 now, just finishing off this hat. 
So a couple of good products that I've used today that are my favourites. Uh, the white gel pens. Those beautiful Carbothello pastel pencils. But any pastel pencil would probably be okay. I just find these are really nice and soft. I'm actually going to use it now again. Let's add a little bit of a shine on here. bit of that paint pen just on that very edge and just perfect Got to put a bit of a shine on her lips. Let's do a jacket. What's the time? Mr. Wolf, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Heather. I don't know who is next. <laughs> Heather's popped the link up for the next stream, which is apparently is in five hours. I'll be streaming again my normal time, which is Monday for me. Most people, I think that is Sunday. And I think I'm last on the list. Uh, anyway, for the color of thought, I think I'm listed last. That would be me. Seem to get to end them because um, <laughs> it's my normal stream time. So there you go. I love these creases and details that are on this one. It's pretty awesome. It's kind of a semi grayscale, isn't it? This one. She's looking pretty special in her outfit. I'm imagining this to be like a really puffy dress down below. Also, it has to have a signature here, but my printer decided that um, it wanted to put a border on, so it didn't print everything. Um, it doesn't quite look like this. It's kind of zoomed in a bit, which is a bit of a pain, but it's good because uh, we can see the image closer on the page, but that's about it. is about it. It's quite possible that there was actually a shirt under a vest type jacket there but I've just made it all the same colour. Because I wasn't looking at it properly and of course you know I was gonna make that skin color but it's glove so <laughs> you know what <laughs> ah yes Mia I would have but that's okay I wanted to share with Joe Beth today
Uh oh. Alright, first refill today. That's pretty good. I think we did pretty well. I don't know where my little refill pleasers are. <laughs> Let's do the refill. I usually refill, I take the big chiseled nib out and uh, just drop a few drops into here. I'm not doing it over the picture. Because I know it will drip. It just will, because that's just life. <laughs> See, look, I dribbled down the side. And that might have gone on my picture if I'm not careful. Just going to clean it up. A little bit of colourless blender. Okay. Better. Much better. So what, what are other people, who, anyone else here who's streaming during this one? During this colorathon? I can't believe there's no one filling in the next five hours. There's a break in the colorathon. B95. Yeah, B95 is running out too. Obviously, I've used this blend somewhere else recently. Oh, that's why we don't do it over my picture. Because I just dripped it on my desk. You may have noticed that I've had to take my desk mat out from underneath me as well uh, because I kept getting um, things like matte medium and um, gesso on it and it looked like snot spread across my um, desk mat <laughs> uh, because those parts because they were kind of white and uh, matte looking the camera seemed to pick them up really well and I was like no because getting rid of that yeah that just is silly <laughs> these blues are pretty aren't they Starting to fill in some of these gaps. Just blend in the colour there a little bit more. These blues are kind of denim blues. They've got a lot of grey in them. Really good for that time, that era. Oh, bye Leslie. Thanks for hanging around. 
Lovely. It's good to do weekend ones, especially for us Aussies. <laughs> I remember the first um, colour I thought I did. Uh, it was one that Sammy organised. This one's running out too, people. Uh-oh. I dropped my lid. <laughs> well, it's gone now. I lost my tweezers too. <laughs> Fingers. It is ninety three. B ninety three. Almost put B ninety five in it because I had it out, but uh, um, come on, Marcus. I would have had this done more quickly if you weren't, didn't need refilling. Now, yeah? come on. How dare you? That's better. It was slightly empty. I was just having trouble filling in those gaps. It wasn't covering enough. Nice. Let's add Some highlights. I'm not worried too much about blending that in any more than it is now. I think it still looks pretty good. Having that little bit of texture there. Let's add some of this pastel pencil to these highlights. Make them stand out a little bit. So pretty. Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> I think she's a lovely. Let's do her glove. E fifty nine. Because I so silly thought, sillily, sillily, silly, I don't know. I thought it was actually a hand, but it's a glove. <laughs> we had no E57, so I went for E25. And then some E15. Hi Shadow. You've decided to come and say hello today. Hey? Wow. 
um Hi. Yeah. Her head looks pretty big compared to her, I reckon. Anyway. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Copic Multiliner, the 0.5 one I've got here. I'm just going to line that section, which looks like it's part of the stitching on the glove. Shadow, you cannot sit your butt right there. Does not work. And uh, I've got like two minutes, so I want to color her um, white thing in here. I'm going to use some B91 just to put this underneath a little bit of that. C two and just a little bit of colorless blender again just to blend that off a little bit. So it looks like it's white with a little bit of grey. She probably should have a really nice blue uh, brooch thing here. Got B97 and B95 ah, and a little bit of that gel pen or white paint pen just to create a little bit of a highlight. Perry, you Perry. This is a loud purr, ain't you? You Perry. <laughs> Are you Perry? Oh, she's being a big sook right now, aren't she? Hmm? Yes. Bah. You big sook. Oh, she's telling me I need to pat her. Not the camera. Not the camera. Wrap bag. Well, I think I got most of it done for you. The background's just going to be a splodge of different colours. Um, and, uh, and, and I might do this like, actually I can do that quickly. I've got a minute, haven't I? Just her little thing here and also around her necklace. I just want to put a little bit of gold. Uh, so I'm going to use some YR23 just down there and uh, a little bit of Y15. Ow! spots on him and then I'll just do like a light blue sky and uh, bits of green and other bits and pieces this looks like a bit of a lake here in the background so a bit more blue in the background there but um, I get the main part of it done yeah um, so also, uh, Heather just posted up the link for the Colour Along, um, uh, the next, the schedule. And here is the link for the image if you'd like to go grab a copy of this as well. And um, I look forward to seeing your versions. And do you want me to uh, find the Facebook group? 
Lace all dreams. Coloring community. Here we go. Here's the Facebook group. Oh, wait. What? I didn't see that. There you go. Done. Thank you very much to all of you for coming along. And thank you so much for being patient with trying to add the lovely Jo Beth in. Um, and thank you, the lovely Jo Beth, for um, allowing me to continue and finish off doing this stream at this time. Big thank you to those that organised this one, uh, especially to Vicky, who um, has been organising them. And I will see you on Monday for the last one in on the list, on the schedule. And uh, we'll colour in the beautiful Indian stars or something it's called um, by ne Eva Nakunin. Uh, this image, if you are wanting to do it or, or collect the image, it's only available to her patrons. So you will need to go to Patreon. But I'll put all that information in the link in the description under the video when I do it on Monday. But thank you guys again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.